Hi, this is Rachel from Aldi Reviewer, and today I'm looking at the Garden Line Potting Mix. This is $4.99 at Aldi. It is an Aldi find, which means it is only in stores for a limited time. This is a great bag of potting mix to use if you have some containers, some flower pots or planters, or elevated gardening beds that you need to fill with soil before putting your flowers or vegetables or whatever you want to grow in the container. Uh, this bag of potting mix is one cubic foot for $4.99, which is a pretty good deal. Um, I checked in at, at Walmart. You can buy name brand miracle Grow potting mix in a one cubic foot bag for about $7. So if you don't mind going with the Aldi private label, this is a pretty good deal. And potting mix is different from garden soil. You'll see different, different types of bags out there, bag mixes. There's potting mix or there's garden soil. Garden soil tends to have more of your regular topsoil mixed with maybe sand and some larger chunks of organic matter like pine bark. And it's meant to be used in the ground to help improve the soil quality if you're gardening directly in the ground. Potting mix, on the other hand, typically does not contain any traditional topsoil. It's a mix of things like peat moss and uh, perlite, and it usually has some plant food. It usually has a wetting agent of some kind to help it retain moisture. You can see this Aldi potting mix uh, it may vary depending on the region that you live in and where you purchase this, but it may contain processed pine bark, reed sedge peat, aged forest products, and or composted rice hulls. Uh, it contains peat moss, perlite, limestone is a pH adjuster, a wetting agent, and a fertilizer. And there's some information about what is in the bag here. And I also noticed that this is packaged by Old Castle Lawn and Garden, which is a common producer of products for lawn and garden and hardscaping. In fact, I just the other weekend bought some paver blocks from my local Home Depot that are part of the Old Castle brand. So it's a familiar brand. Uh, this potting soil is made in the United States. And you can see here, I have a planter that I actually just dumped a bag of garden line potting mix into. So if you want to see what the mix looks like, it's pretty fine. Um, it's got some little slivers of pine bark in there. You can see the peat moss. You can see the perlite. Um, it's a pretty fine mix. So it's good for starting seedlings, if you want to grow vegetables, if you want to grow flowers. And I've been using Garden Line Potting Mix for years to grow tomatoes, bell peppers, all kinds of flowers, uh, zinnias, bachelor's buttons, snapdragons. I've used it to grow green beans from seed. And I think it works just as well as other more expensive types of potting soil I've used, like miracle Grow. I generally always have bumper crops, as long as the critters don't get to my vegetables and flowers first. Um, this potting mix is generally pretty good at uh, helping you to grow your flowers and veggies and herbs or whatever you want to grow. Again, this is Garden Line Potting Mix from Aldi. It is in stores while supplies last, and it's $4.99.